What's up everybody, TG here, back with another video. Guys, we have a huge week of earnings coming up with some of the biggest companies in the world reporting earnings, especially big companies that I am heavily, heavily invested in. Monday, nothing's happening really, nothing worth noting, but Tuesday is the big day, February 2nd. Before the opening, we hear from Alibaba. Now, obviously, I am very heavily invested in Baba. If we go here, and look up how much I actually have in Alibaba. It's a pretty significant amount. Currently risking $16,000. We're currently up about $1,900. We can still squeeze out another $2,800 from these put credit spreads that we wrote on Baba. Now, you guys know me. I really like Baba. I think Baba's geared up for a big earnings. And the reason behind that, obviously, the e-commerce growth. They have high, high profit margins around 27%. They're also growing cloud momentum. You know, they're very similar to Amazon in that aspect where they have the cloud storage and the e-commerce as well. Another big thing is their strong mobile growth, um, you know, more monthly active users, you know, building up the inventory for their market. And obviously, there's a couple uncertainty things. And that's why Baba has taken a big hit. You know, we had the failure of the Ant IPO. Um, we had the Jack Ma incident, you know, regulation coming down on Alibaba. But overall, Alibaba is a solid, solid company with a very low PE ratio. Um, we're talking, you know, a PE ratio of about only 36. You know, for a growth company that's extremely low. <clears throat> and I think it's um I think it's very undervalued at these current valuations. I give it about a $337 price target. That's just me. That's what I believe. Um and um I think it's gonna continue to grow. These earnings are going to show just how much they actually made, and I bet this thing's going to pop. Uh, so if you guys want, take advantage of it because the implied volatility for this week is extremely high in Alibaba options, and you can make some solid, solid money. You know, you want to sell up like a sell a put or sell a put credit spread. That's what I recommend, just because the IV is so high. You go ahead and do it for like two fifty or even two forty five. I mean, the implied volatility is about sixty percent. That's a pretty high amount, and um, you can make some good money off that four hundred and thirty three dollars for one of those. Um, but let's talk about what happens after. And as we know, it is Amazon. As you guys know, we have probably the most positions in Amazon. I mean, including, look at how many just expired this week alone. Credit spread, credit spread, credit spread, credit spread. Tons of money. We're risking thousands and thousands in the line for this. And then of course, we have our biggest um, component in this, which is a leaps call that we wrote on Amazon. Whew. It's it's risky, but you know we're up about six sixty nine hundred on it right now. We took about a thousand dollar loss in the thing, so we're only up about fifty nine hundred on Amazon with these calls. Because like I said, I wrote a covered call, then I had to buy it back, uh, which is very dumb. But you know stuff happens sometimes. So I'm expecting Monday might start off down. Um, you know the, uh, things are weird right now. Everything in the market's really weird. But when those earnings come out, and I think they're just going to be absolutely stellar. They're expecting about 120 billion in revenue this year and i think they're going to get about a 128 so i think they're going to get about 8 billion more i think they're going to beat earnings per share as well um just because of the fact that you know they had so much volume in their e-commerce space now obviously e-commerce doesn't have a high profit margin but i believe that you know they said they were going to do about 4 billion in covid costs i think it's only going to be about two and a half to be honest with you, I don't think they spent four billion. I think that'd be ridiculous if they spent that much. Um, and then, of course, their AWS is growing. We saw with Microsoft's earnings last week how much their AWS has grown. Um, or I mean, how much their cloud storage has grown. And I think Amazon is going to grow as well. I mean, you know, Amazon's the biggest of the biggest. I think they they got a lot of new customers. They got a lot of new recurring you know clients, and it's going to really boost. And that's the that's where their profit margins are. So if we want higher profit margins. It's going to come from AWS, and I think AWS is going to continue to grow. Have a little bit of a slower quarter the last two quarters, but I think this quarter is going to pick up. Now that COVID, you know, the COVID times at first, you know, understood people don't have enough to spend, but now a lot more companies are going on the cloud and realizing how essential it is. And I think they're going to go to Amazon for that. So, you know, between that, obviously we had the holiday season. Um, you know, we had Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Prime Day, and then of course Christmas shopping. And we're assuming Amazon took a big chunk of that market share. And it's going to just bring in a ton of revenue. Like I said, they're expecting about $120 billion for revenue. And about $7.19 for the earnings per share. I think they're going to be both of them. And I'm hoping Bezos is going to stock split. And the company's going to soar. 
then we're gonna be able to get out of that leaps call with a huge huge profit now I know you don't want to hear about Amazon anymore, so let's go talk about Alphabet. Alphabet I'm currently not in, but Alphabet is one of my favorite companies that I've been watching recently, and I really want to get it into the 1700s. So if tomorrow it goes down, you bet, you bet I'm going to get a position in that because I love Alphabet. I love companies that really take advantage of the advertising business, and no one does it better than Alphabet, i.e. Google. They are continuing to grow and grow and grow, and I think that they are going to just become, you know, one of the biggest companies in the world. They have huge profit margins of around 26%, huge, and they're just going to continue to grow and use that, and their search engine and YouTube are the only ones that are actually viable, and there's no alternative to YouTube, and there's really no alternative to Google. Apple is supposedly making something like a search engine like that, but right now, it's just Google. And people are used to using it and they're going to stick with it. So I really like Alphabet. I think you should definitely enter a position in if you ever see 1700s. But if you want to take a little bit of a gamble and this you know, starts where it's at or even down on Monday, <clears throat> go ahead and pick up some shares, a call, or sell some punk credit spreads. Now, nothing more important that day. And then Wednesday, we also have some big hitters coming. PayPal, I think PayPal is going to do really good just because of the whole crypto boom. A lot of people are using PayPal. Um, you know, They're a solid, solid company. Um, Spotify as well. Spotify is, you know, another solid, solid company. Um, eBay, nope. I don't think that's going to be doing that good. I just, I think it's a dying breed, and I'm not a big fan. Uh, Grubhub, I, I have no idea what to expect from that. But you know, it's really, really the main companies I'm looking at on Wednesday are PayPal because if PayPal dips, I'm definitely going to get a long term position. Uh, Spotify, I'm not sure. Just think, just because they do have some co competition like Apple Music. Um, but those are about the only big players on Wednesday. Thursday, we hear from Penn National Gaming before the bell opens. That'll be interesting to hear because their stock has been absolutely flying. And I can expect, you know, some uncertainty with that. I love Penn. I, I really think it's great. Portnoy is an amazing, amazing guy. And their acquisition of Barstool was just a, an incredible marketing move that is going to propel this company farther and farther. So <clears throat> definitely watch out for that. It has run up a lot. Like I said, it's over $100 now. It was 3 bucks in March. So a bit of a run-up, but you know, justify, justifiable. Now, Snapchat and Peloton report earnings on Thursday after the close. And <clears throat> I'm not sure to, what to expect with Snapchat, just because Snapchat went up so much the last time they reported earnings that I don't really know if they're going to be able to keep that steam. I mean, they're sitting at $53 a share. You know, They're up 26% for the three-month and 182% for the year. And the, the way they're currently valued right now is a little high for me. You know, 80 billion is a little high for a company that still doesn't make any money yet. But, you know, obviously long term, but the problem is that there can be competition that comes out there and takes it. So I'm going to stay away from Snapchat. Um, I'm just not a fan of it. Peloton, another one to look out for, you know, has had an absolute tear, um, you know, since March. This company has just grown and is sitting at 100 and $45 a share now, up about 400% for the year. It's going to be interesting to see. I mean, they're already valued at $43, $44 billion. It's going to be interesting to see how much farther they can go. Activision plus Blizzard is going to be another good one. Gaming's been, you know, booming over COVID, so I can expect them to have some good numbers as well. And then obviously Fortnite. Um, <laughs> you know, we're not going to go into that. But um, overall, just some really, really interesting plays. and. You know, currently right now, I don't know how futures are. I think they were down last time I checked. Um, but, you know, it's interesting to see what happens. I'm hoping some type of stimulus will get passed. But, again, futures are getting absolutely hammered. And um, it stinks. It, it really stinks that the market has been getting hit so hard because of, uh, you know, this whole thing with GameStop. So, hopefully, this thing will end. Um, and then we can go back to having a normal market where, you know, real investors start making some good money. But, until then, you know, just try to try to buy these dips and use them because some companies are a steal right now. And in a couple months on the road, you're going to be very happy you did. So that's about all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe and let me know what you're excited for most for tomorrow or next week. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.